Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Jada Pinkett Smith kicked off her new season of the Red Table Talk and on this week's episode, the wives and girlfriends of the Curry family sat down at the table. Now one of the ladies that were there was Aisha Curry. Aisha Curry is the wife of the NBA superstar Steph Curry and Steph Curry plays for the Warriors if you don't know. But yes, Aisha Curry is the wife of Steph Curry and she has actually created an empire for herself outside of her husband. She started off doing YouTube videos about family, home life, and cooking, and that created an avenue for her to have her own cooking show, which then opened up more doors for her. She launched her own cookbook and her own cookware line, and she also has her own makeup line with CoverGirl. So Aisha has definitely established her own brand outside of her husband, but even with all these things going for her, Aisha does deal with insecurities from time to time. And it doesn't really help when she sees her man have all these groupies around him. And she talked about that on the Red Table Talk. How do y'all deal with all the ladies around y'all men? <laughs> How do you deal with that? Stefan is like very nice by nature. He gets it from his mama. And so like everything's always like very, very friendly. And sometimes to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm a grown woman, so I'll just insert myself and be like, hello, how are you doing? Obviously, you know, like, the devil is a liar, and there's always, like, the ladies will always be lurking. Right. Hoping, hoping for their moment and waiting. He can't see it coming. I see it from a mile away. I, on, I honestly hate it. I don't like when I feel, like, leveled off with someone. Exactly. It just irks my nerves. And so, like, we, we had the conversation about it, and he, like, tries really, really hard to make sure that if we're going somewhere, I'm being introduced. Exactly. Like you're I don't I don't like to have to introduce myself. It right. hurts my nerves. But there have been a couple of times where I've wanted to like punch somebody in the face for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's human nature. Aisha not only talked about dealing with her husband Steph's groupies, but she also talked about something else. She pointed out the fact that her husband had a lot of women fawning over him, but she revealed that she wants men to look her way too. Something that really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, like there are all these women like throwing themselves, but me, like the past 10 years, like I don't have any of that. Like I have zero, it sounds weird, but like male attention. And so then you like I begin to internalize it. it and I'm like, you're, is something wrong with you're me? Not, like, you're, you're not looking. What? You're not like, looking. Cause I don't what? want it, but yeah. it'd be nice to know that like, Someone's looking. But when you get dangerous. You know what? I do understand what Aisha was saying. She wants some adoration from men because in a way she wants to feel validated and a lot of times when people are insecure they tend to seek validation from other people and even though Aisha has a lot going on for herself she's still in her husband's shadow and she wants to find validation outside of that also I feel like she wants some male attention for vain reasons even though she's a wife and a mother of three she still wants to feel like she got it going on she doesn't want to be looked at as a frumpy woman who can't attract a man's attention. But the truth of the matter is, not a lot of men are going to overtly throw themselves at her. And the reason why they won't do that is because they know they can't try her. She's married to one of the wealthiest NBA players in the league right now. No man is going to compete with Steph to get Aisha because they will fail. Secondly, Aisha doesn't draw men in that type of way. And I'm not saying that as an insult, I'm just saying that she's a very wholesome woman, she's a family woman, and she's also a married woman. Men will not overstep those boundaries unless a woman allows them to. Now, there will be some men who will try. They'll try to be all friendly, okay, just to see if they have a chance. But if you're married, you have to give them the signal that they don't have a chance. And I do think that Aisha did make a bit of a mistake announcing to the world that she wanted male attention because she just dropped signals that she was looking for it. Now she's going to get it and she'll find out that it's not all it's cracked up to be. Trust me, if she looks at those DMs, she will find out. Now, Black Twitter got a hold of this interview and started going in on Aisha because they felt like she was being silly for asking for male attention just because her husband gets female attention. Now, let me read some of these funny memes and tweets. This is Aisha when she doesn't get catcalled. Give me what I want. 
give me what I want. Steph in the locker room watching the Aisha interview and seeing Draymond and KD liking IG pictures. Look at that kid's expression. <laughs> Another person tweeted, Aisha leaving the house knowing that she's not gonna get cat called. Oh shit, here we go again. After I had turned 30 and had three kids, I started to feel insecure about my body and wondered if I'm still beautiful. And this is Twitter's response. And if you don't sit your goddamn oh. glass pistol grip chin down somewhere. Grip chin ass. Another person tweeted, Aisha when she goes to a Warriors game and doesn't get catcalled once the whole night. How come you don't want me, man? Aisha, why don't men chase after me like women do Steph? And here's Steph's reaction. <laughs> And here's another one, Steph Curry watching Aisha complain about men not hitting on her. <laughs> the red table ladies, but you're not looking. You're, you're not, not looking. looking. What? You're not looking. Aisha Curry's reaction. <laughs> Aisha Curry when anyone other than her faithful husband hits on her. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Someone else posted Aisha's next Uber driver. <laughs> Ooh, child. There's more. <laughs> Steph Curry talking to Aisha after what she said. You look good! All right. You look good! You look good! Aisha, it would be nice to also get attention. Steph Curry's reaction. Shut up, shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up, my nigga. Shut up. Steph talking to Aisha on the phone after watching her red table talk. Shut the How's Steph looking at Aisha after her comments about wanting other men to recognize her? <laughs> Aisha begging for men's attention while saying she doesn't want groupies around Steph. I could say something. Oh my God. I could say something. I'm talking, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sleep on it. Derek Fisher getting ready to hop in Aisha Curry's DMs the minute he saw that video. Someone also posted this about Aisha. <laughs> ignoring you I said I'm ignoring you stop ignoring me ignore someone tweeted insecure Aisha Curry why aren't men cat calling me how dare they that's stupid use your common sense Aisha Curry on her way home from Whole Foods after getting no looks it don't show nothing it don't cost nothing to show a nigga love, I was doing nigga. this game money show a nigga some love nigga wabbly dabbly niggas out here don't love me there were so many funny memes and tweets people were just dragging Aisha <laughs> to the point that one person had to stand up and say listen and she tweeted me looking at all these women dragging Aisha Curry it's no secret that I get disgusted by a lot of things I'm just so disgusted. I can't tell you how disgusted I am. I'm disgusted with him right now. Oh, Lord have mercy. Black Twitter always got jokes. But honestly, I understand why Aisha said what she said. Like I said before, it's clear that Aisha has some insecurities, which is the reason why she said she wanted to have some male attention because she's really seeking for that validation. She sees that her husband gets validation on a daily basis and he also gets a lot of attention and she kind of wants that attention for herself. And that's probably one of the reasons why Aisha pushed her name more out there in the forefront and created her own brand and her own empire because she wanted some attention for herself. She didn't want to be just known as a basketball wife. She wanted something more than that. And I think as she became more successful and as her husband became more successful, she noticed the difference in the way people treat her husband and in the way they treat her. Aisha watches her husband get so much adoration for what he does, but she doesn't get the same treatment. Yes, people may respect her, but people aren't falling over themselves just to get next to her. They're not doing that. So I really think that's the real issue. It's not so much that she wants groupies, but she wants some validation. And one thing you can't do is find validation from other people. You gotta find validation in yourself. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.